All right, thank you, Chris Hurst, reporting there for us. We have a lot of road closures and some flooding reported along our roadways right now. So if you're going to be driving this morning, just because it's simply dark outside and a lot of these roads are dealing with some water over the roadways, I would say stay off the roads. If you have to drive, take it easy, take it slow, give yourself the extra time needed. First up, one of our main bridges here, I-275, the Howard Franklin Bridge, shut down northbound from Pinellas into Tampa this morning because of water lapping over the bridge, reported flooding through that area. Also, a major incident happening here near I-75 and US-301. This is reportedly a bridge. A Hillsborough Fire Rescue just giving us some new information happening just after 2.30 this morning. An 18-wheeler going over the guardrail here and into the water. We are getting reports that the cab of the guardrail is in the water and crews are actively working to save the people inside right now. No word on how many people are inside or at least the driver we do know. So that is still a very active investigation. If you're driving along I-75 southbound, you will get by in one lane. It was reportedly closed, but traffic was able to get by a little bit ago. Also, I-75 near the Fletcher Fowler exits. We're seeing some roadblock there because of an earlier crash. A new crash popping up also involving an 18 wheeler along I-275 for drivers through downtown Tampa near Ashley Drive is partially blocking a lane there. So again, slick roadways all across our area. Taking a look at this road weather hazards maps, the blue you see here is ponding. The green are the wet roadways. And then we're getting a closer look at some of the areas that we're seeing flooding, including portions of Pinellas County. Here here, this purple you see here is a closure along the Sunshine Skyway Bridge. That closure has been in place since yesterday. High winds, that's why the road cannot be reopened. 41, 301, I-75 are alternates for you. Fourth Street, reportedly a roadblock there because of some flooding there near 45th Avenue. And then we're also seeing again Bayshore Boulevard for portions of Tampa closed partially for drivers near Platt. So heads up about that. You're going to see Tampa police blocking the roadway there. More of that across our area. Again, keeping you informed, prepared and connected. Kayla.